Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a TJ Maxx and a Target haul. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to start with TJ Maxx because that is the stuff that we have. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with TJ Maxx because that's all the stuff that I have on top. So the first thing I got is, well, pretty much I went to TJ Maxx to get Brian a gift. And then I got a few things for the house and then some things that we will both use. So the first thing that I did get Brian are these, this three pack of Puma, just plain white t-shirt. I got him the extra large because um, he has a really big, like broad, muscular chest and he could be a large, but his chest is an extra large or, wait, I got him the large, not the extra large, my bad. So yeah, it's just a three pack. These were at $9.99, as you can see, and they're really soft. He's already put one on. Um, I literally just got back home from TJ Maxx. So yeah, these are really soft. They feel like really good quality, and I'm sure he's really gonna love these. I wish they would have had another pack because I definitely would have bought him two, but they only had one pack in his size. So I'll definitely be checking out TJ Maxx in the future again to see if they have more. So the next thing I did go ahead and get is a, packs of, a pack of boxer briefs for him. And they had these at TJ Maxx for $9.99. So I did go ahead and grab his briefs there because if you go to Target or Walmart, you're looking anywhere upwards of 15, upwards of 15 bucks for briefs just from the store. So I was like, okay, $10, not a bad deal. He really needs them. Let's go ahead and grab them. So that's what I did go ahead and get. And then I did get him a new belt because he does wear his belt anytime he gets dressed to go casual. If he has on a belt for um, like, if he has on jeans, he always wears a belt, shorts, anything with belt loops, he will wear a belt with them. So his belts get worn out pretty fast. So I got him this Perry Ellis belt. It is um, reversible. So one side's black and the other side is brown. I got this for $12.99 and then the original price right here on the tag is 50 bucks. So that is not bad at all. It's also really hard to find like bigger belts. I feel like the belts that you find are tiny. And the next thing I did get, because we've been talking about needing new clothes and Brian is the type of person that he won't buy it unless it's bought for him or I make him buy him stuff. So I just did it as a gift and I did go ahead and find this really nice Nautica shirt. He's been wanting this, this salmon color for a while now in within his wardrobe. And I was like, oh my gosh, such a perfect time. This shirt was on sale for $15 original price is 70 bucks so it's not bad like i thought it was really good it's still summertime so it's gonna be hot here in texas for a while so people will still be wearing their summer get up for a while and then i did go ahead and find these shorts these are called plug these are from the brand plug and these are just his shorts right here these do have a little stain right here she said i could bring them home and wash them and see if i could get this stain out and if i couldn't i could return it so that's what I'm gonna do because these were on sale for only 10 bucks and the original price is 42 bucks. So yeah, I thought that was a cute little outfit if he rolled up the sleeves like midway and worn with these shorts and that new belt I got him. I was like, that's such a good, cute outfit. So the next thing I got was actually for me and this is the only thing that's specifically like for me um, is this Positive Mind and Positive Life journal. And it says a mindfulness journal and it just has things where it's like practicing mindfulness when and where what did you notice during your mindfulness practice and i figured that even though it's called mindfulness i'm going to put it into a biblical aspect so whereas this is asking me what did you notice during your mindfulness practice for instance i would say well what did i notice during my prayer time or what did i notice during my study time with god so that's just why i kind of wanted this so I just wanted something to like really keep me on track with reading the word of God. If you saw my last Jesus chat, so that's something that I've been struggling with. So I thought that this would be good to just kind of keep me and remind me like, okay, spend time with God because that is my mindfulness. That is where I want my mind to be centered around is God. So I did go ahead and pick this up and this was at $5.99. Original price is eight bucks. So the next things I got are these soy candles. 
I'm trying not to go use a lot of candles. So like in the main area, we have a diffuser and in the boys room, we have a diffuser. So if I do buy candles, I do spend the extra money to make sure that they're soy and that the wick is natural. And so I actually got these um, sensational white pumpkin. This is a natural coconut wax blend. So, and it's five ounces and these were $3.99 and I got white pumpkin. I got two of them. So one for the guest room and one for our room. And then the boys have a bigger candle in their bathroom from, um, was it Miss Myers? Yeah, they have a Miss Myers candle in their bathroom. It smells so good. It smells like fall. And I was like, oh my land. So like, I gotta have these. So yeah, we got those. And then this, I'm trying to get Brian into skincare. So the next thing I picked up was this vitamin C Soothe and Youthful Anti-Wrinkle Facial Serum. So this is rose and vitamin E oil, or it's a vitamin C with rose and vitamin E. So it helps to smooth and soften, and soften the appearance of fine line and wrinkles, but also rose is really good for breakouts if you didn't know. So I just went ahead and got this because my skin does like to have random little breakouts. And then, and that I got for, $4.99 and the original price they said is seven. And then I did find this calming mist from the brand Giovanni. And it just looks like this. They had a refreshing one and a nourishing one. So I got the calming hibiscus, cucumber, and fresh rose water because like I said, I'm, just, I'm obsessed with rose and hibiscus actually. So soothing essence of hibiscus, cucumber, and rose water set and relax the skin for a beautiful complexion. So it's vegan, cruelty-free, cruelty infused with natural botanical ingredients, recyclable packaging. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. And then the next things I got is because I do do mine and Brian's eyebrows. I do them here at home. And I can't, we're always losing tweezers. And so I did go ahead and pick up this pack of tweezers right here. This is from the brand Danielle Creations. And so this is $3.99. The original price is $5. And it just has the... It has like the pointy tweezers and then like the regular tweezers. And then I got these as well because I definitely needed some new ones of these. Are these straight edge um, sciz little scissors. So for our eyebrows, you can use it for your nails. You can use it to trim your lashes. So like I needed to invest in some new ones of these and these were $4.99. Okay, so that is everything that I got from TJ Maxx. Hey guys, so there was a couple of things that I forgot to mention yesterday from my TJ Maxx and Target haul. So the first thing from TJ Maxx, I forgot to mention because my kids are butt munches and they like to take stuff out of my pile, but it was this Capri essential oil cleanser or cleaner. It's a lemon verbana. And so it has pure plant-based ingredients, natural essential oils, biodegradable, no parabens or harsh detergents, no chlorine or petroleum solvents. So I did just pick this up and you guys, if you're into essential oils and you know what the lemon essential oil smells like this is what that smells like like that's exactly what this smells like so i did go ahead and just pick that up and i paid 3.99 for it original price is six bucks and then from target i got this blue tie-dye style dress and it's like a shorter t-shirt style dress i'll insert a picture and i paid 15 bucks for that but whenever i got it they did have a coupon and their target circle offers for five percent off of universal thread so go ahead and check that out and let's just get back into the video well, let's go ahead and move on to target i'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the way because i got these on friday today's sunday i got these on friday from target and the boys just couldn't wait so they actually had their tonka toys on sale at my target for 558 but i also had to tell them that they were on sale like because whenever I would scan them and whenever they run them up, they ring up for $7.99. But on the tag, it said $5.58. So I just reminded the cashier of that and she went ahead and changed them for me. So Ethan got this helicopter. This is better right here. So Ethan got the helicopter. And these are pretty sturdy toys that they got. Bryson got the fire truck. And then King got the garbage truck. And they all make noise and they love these toys. It was something so simple for just five bucks. And then we do plan on taking a road trip next week and we have a DVD player in our car. And they have DVDs, but obviously you get tired of hearing the same DVDs. And so I did just go ahead and pick up their Bernstein Bears. And this is, um, it has a few different stories. It has like five different stories on it or six. And so I did just go ahead and pick this up for them. And the next thing I got, I was like, 
you don't realize how much you need something like this for your kitchen until you need it. So I'm somebody like, and so is Brian, like he likes dipping sauces with everything. And so sometimes like when we pick up sushi or they forget to give us barbecue sauce at this, at, if we pick up something fast food, like I always want a little bowl to put like a dipping sauce in. So I thought that these were perfect. I believe that these were three or five dollars. I just picked those up. And I actually have the cups and the bowls that, cups, cups, bowls, and plates that match these little bowls already. Okay, so the next thing I got was this Heyday wireless speaker. This was 10 bucks. I've been wanting one of these just for like our room or like whenever I go mow the yard, I don't like, like my headphones can start to fall or like I can't hear what's going on around me. So I did want to go ahead and pick up this speaker right here because I don't always want to have to turn on the TV or log into my computer just to listen to music louder than what it would be on my phone. So I thought that this would be really good. So now we get into what some makeup stuff. And I guess I could have combined this and I also got, um, what's the food? So I guess I should have combined this with the TJ Maxx haul, but my little cousin came over on Friday and she actually gifted me with this Milani palette and it was only $2.99. So if you've been looking for these Milani palettes, they have them at TJ Maxx for $2.99 if you can still find them. Okay, so the next things I got from Target are, I got two of the e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadow palettes. Now, Jessica Brown is the one who convinced me to get these more neutral ones. So I did get pick up the cream and sugar one. And then I also picked up the bite size um, pumpkin pie eyeshadow. Because you guys, unless I'm doing recording a video, I don't do dramatic looks. I usually do something like that I have on today. And sometimes I throw on lashes, sometimes I don't. But I do do something that's more neutral and pretty fast. Unless I'm filming, I don't do anything super dramatic. And then the next thing I got was something I've been wanting to try out for a while. And this is the LA Girl setting spray. This is the Fix and Set Makeup for Extended Wear. And I do know that I just, I bought this one too but I'm actually running low on all of my setting sprays so I did go ahead and pick up this one as well and then I also got their seriously satin lipstick and I believe that those ones are just in the shade cream I just saw um Taylor Wynn talk about this so yeah I'm super excited to try this out as well I gotta get that food out the oven okay and then the last thing I got was I'm having like a bit of a I'm having like a bit of like a love gloss I'm in love with gloss right now so I did go ahead and pick up the e.l.f. lip lacquer and I just picked up the clear one. Yeah, it's just called clear. So it's like super clear, y'all. So yeah, I do love a good clear glossy gloss. And then the next thing I did, I did need to restock my deodorant. So I did go ahead and just pick up the Schmitz Rose and Vanilla Deodorant. And guys, my biggest tip, if you are switching over to natural deodorant or you want to use natural deodorant is to Every night and every morning that I apply deodorant, I do go ahead and clean my armpits with the cotton pad with witch hazel on them. And it makes the biggest difference, you guys, the biggest difference. Okay, so the last few things that I got were also for the boy, but this is for the boys, but this was different. So I did go ahead and pick up these pencils for them. And these were just a dollar. Um, everything else was like a dollar. Everything I'm about to mention was a dollar. So these were from their Target Circle little area and I did go ahead and pick up these pencils because school time is about to start and I like um, Ethan's already learning how to write and spell and stuff so he did need pencils and then for whatever reason King bites the erasers off of everything. He even bit the tips of their markers off. So what I went ahead and did since King likes to do that is I bought this little pack of erasers right here just for Ethan in case King decides to get a hold of his pencil and bite the eraser off. So the next thing I got was for our homeschooling because I'm really debating on just withdrawing Ethan since it's all going to be online anyways and just homeschool. So I did go ahead and get him these level one reading books. So I got Big Cats of the World and it just looks like this because Ethan is actually already learning to read and he can read smaller words like this. I'm teaching him, you know, like if you see a word, make the letter sounds, put it together. I'm teaching him like what letter combinations make, like the T and the H, the S and the H, the C and the H. I'm teaching him that as well. And then he got animal kids, cubs, chicks, and pups. And so, yeah, these are definitely books I'm going to be keeping put away so that way they don't mess them up. And those are just for the reading. And then with these books right here, Ethan is going to use them, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make copies of the pages. 
so that way these books last a little bit longer because I do have three kiddos that these gotta last with. So, and Target Circle doesn't have the same stuff every single year. So the first one I got was the pre-K and kindergarten math concepts. And so just learning how to count and what the, recognizing your numbers. And then I got the printing practice. So this is just gonna really help Ethan again, learn how to write work on his handwriting. And then I got All About Our World. So this is going, and this is kindergarten to first grade. So the first two were pre-K. This one is kindergarten to first grade. And this is just All About Our World. So I'm definitely going to have to put fact or help Ethan out with this one. This is basically like a social studies slash geography. So definitely gonna help Ethan with that one. This is another kindergarten and first grade one. This is Money and Telling Time. You guys, Ethan loves to get money like from an allowance so i'm teaching him like what one dollar is worth and he does earn an allowance and so we are learning that and he loves to tell time he just doesn't know how to tell it on an analog analog clock he only knows how to tell it on a digital clock so and then we got this one that's the same or different this one is for bryson this is pre-k and kindergarten because ethan can tell whenever something's the same and when something's different so i would got this one like specifically for bryson to start working on to recognize things that are the same and the different and then this one is for bryson as well and this is just the alphabet and i'll also let ethan do this one as well because there's some handwriting in it so that's that. And then for their room, because we did have to get rid of the bed. If you guys see it, seen in my vlog, the little toddler bed had broke. So we got rid of it. King and Bryson are sharing a bed. So now I have a dedicated area in their room where I can actually set it up as a classroom. So I did go ahead and pick up these um, posters. And these were a dollar as well. So I got one of America or the United States. And just, you know, I just want to teach them, you know, geography and stuff. And then I got them the sign language one, which is going to be pretty awesome and fun. And then I got the just the alphabet one. And this one's more just for King and um, Bryson and King. And then I did the last thing I picked up from Target, and this was $5, was this storage bin right here. Because I need to get rid of what they currently have their toys in. And if this isn't big enough, I'll just go back and get another one next week. And that's what I'm going to store their toys in from now on. So yeah, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys are enjoying all of these hauls. I do have an Ulta one coming up soon too. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.